right running? Johannes, uh, just a perfect sprint for a great day because uh, you're now the most successful athlete ever in the sprint and uh, tying Martin with a number of victories in total. So how special was it? Oh, it's a special day. Um, winning uh, a race means still a lot. Uh, so many people going for it every time. Uh, sprint has not been my best distance this year, but uh, today I I was fighting good in the track and on the range and uh, I made a very good sprint. Well, uh, nobody has ever won a sprint with this gap, so what does that mean to you? Ah, that means a lot. One minute is quite a gap. Um, but yeah, I think for me today, uh, I, it was close to a 100% race. And uh, when the rivals miss one target, then the gap can be a little bit bigger. But uh, one minute is maybe too much. Uh, but for sure, I will fight hard to keep the distance tomorrow. Now, you have widened the gap to your brother in the overall, but he has taken the sprint globe. So everybody's happy in the family? Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, yeah, he is very happy with the sprint globe for sure. Uh, and I think, uh, yeah, he wanted to turn the result today. It will be only 30 points lead for the weekend. And uh, yeah, I am more relieved and uh, he is maybe a little bit like, ah, OK, but we will go for it one more time, two more times and let's see. Everything can happen in this sport. And that's why we love it. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Tommy, congratulations. Uh, finally back on the podium. It feels like you've been flirting with this uh, for quite a while. So how important and how proud of yourself are you today? I'm, I'm really happy today. Uh, I wasn't expecting such a, a good race, uh, especially after so many races this year. But uh, today uh, everything worked uh, well or even perfect, uh, like the skis. Uh, had amazing skis, uh, good legs, uh, good shooting, so the result is a podium. Yeah. Can you get us through the final loop? Because uh, that was uh, quite a tight fight with four of you close all together for, for the podium. I was shocked uh, when I heard uh, the last loop all the coaches and the uh, Vaxman uh, screaming that uh, I was just uh, one, two, then a tenth of a second uh, in front of uh, Terrier. I, I was just uh, shocked, but uh, on the final spurt, I, I got a really good push from, from my Vaxman and uh, I managed <laughs> to beat Terry by one and a half second. And how was it to follow the end of the competition? Because also Rittmuller, then Botten, they were all uh, closing in. I, I went uh, cool down far away from the arena and I, I didn't want uh, to see anyone. Uh, like uh, I just wanted to stay alone. I, I'm really happy with my, with my performance. Uh, I would have been uh, disappointed if uh, it would have not been enough for a podium, but uh, I I can't be disappointed with my performance today. A strong finish uh, for you this season. So, what's the goal for the last two of the uh, of this season? Ah, uh, let's get it. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, we have still two tough races uh, in front uh, tomorrow and on Sunday, and uh, let's hope uh, we'll have strong legs th th there as well. Congratulations. Thank you. Tarie, congratulations, uh, strong performance, podium and the sprint globe. So I guess uh, even though your brother opened up the gap in the overall, you still can be very happy. Yeah, I'm really happy. I can't be disappointed of my race. Uh, the goal was to take the globe home and also it's the po podium of the day. And then I can't do anything <laughs> with Johannes. You know, when when it's a race against the clock, you know, you can't uh, you can't play uh, alongside him and you can't uh, attack on his move either so uh, he was very strong but I'm really happy also. How special is it for you to get the sprint globe uh, you know after quite a few years? Yeah that's cool I, I won it once more one more uh, one time earlier uh, 13 years ago and then I was quite young now I'm quite old so I think it's I know it's the most difficult globe to win because uh, I've tried a lot and I won some of the other globes recent years, but the sprint has been uh, dedicated to Johannes, especially last year. So that I'm able to do it in that distance is, is yeah, quite big for me. You know, I, uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, you, you need to be a good skier at least to, to win it. And um, I've been it this year and I'm uh, happy about my achievements. Speaking of good skiing, the last loop was uh, quite a battle with a lot of uh, younger athletes. <laughs> yeah. How did you perceive it from obviously the finish? 
Yeah, you know, it's it's tough in altitude to push. It's not only about a mental game. Uh, it's also about the, how the legs are. You know, the, the lactate is there and you don't know when it's going to stop completely. And I guess some of the others stopped quite hard in the last uphill. And uh, me and Gakomel had still power left. Uh, it was a tough fight with him. I was in front of him. It was a, a pity because uh, it was so tight. Uh, I heard... Uh, the times that I was coming closer, but it wasn't enough. So uh, he's a strong guy, this guy. You know, he's, uh, we talk about he's a sprinter, sort of with uh, his fast, uh, fast legs and uh, high speed. But yeah, when he was able to be skiing that fast in the uphill and altitude, he has big engine too. So he's the guy to come for the next years. So the plan is to be together for the pursuit and then see what happens? Yeah, I need him, I think, in the, especially in the flat parts. I need him a lot so to, to be able to catch Johannes. So it's a good setup for tomorrow. We're looking forward to it and congratulations again. Thank you. Thanks.